Okay, now it's time to start actually programming this basket. So, right at the top, let's create a few new lines before the opening PHP talk. And let's start with the session variable and we'll assign the session class with the method get session and we'll create this method in just a second and we'll want to get the session called basket. As you may remember, we've been adding all the time to the basket session. Obviously now we need to populate all this information from the basket. On the next line, we'll create the object obg basket and we'll assign the class of the basket to it. Okay, so basket is instantiated now. Now out array, just an empty array to store all the products. And now we check if is an empty session, then catalog object catalog new catalog. Okay, now with this uh, instance of the class, we can do for each session as key equals value. And we'll add to our out array the key equals catalog, sorry, object catalog get product and a key of the product, the ID of the product. As you may remember, sessions we've been creating using key, ID of the product, and a value. Then obviously we have the key, uh, we put in this key to the tower array as a key of the, as the index of the array. And we also get all the information about the product using the same key, the ID of the product basically. So now obviously it all looks fine, but we still haven't really populated this information from the session. So let's create our get session method. If we go back to our browser, open our session.php file, scroll right to the bottom. Let's create a few new lines that we can actually clearly see what we're going to be typing here. Let's close the browser and let's create our public static function get session and session name. Let's assign null by default. First, let's check if is an empty name. Then let's return is set session with the name. Then we simply return this session. Otherwise, we return null. Okay, and that's everything with this method, basically. So we've got this covered. That's fine. Scroll down, and after the the open uh, sorry the the basket uh, heading, let's open a PHP tag and the condition if is an empty our out array with the details of all products. Then display our basket. Then if uh, after the closing div tag, we're going to create L statement. And in the else statement, we'll simply type within it in, in the paragraph, your basket is currently empty. You can also provide a link to uh, browse through our catalog or something like this. I'm just going to leave it like this. So if we save the file, we go back to our page, refresh, you can see the basket is gone. It's just a message that your basket is currently empty. Just to check that it works. If we go to our catalog, add one of the products, go to the basket, you can see it shows. Uh, but obviously we don't see any product uh, details yet because we didn't display them on the page. We didn't populate them and display them on a, within this table. So, um, so it's working fine. Now if we go to back to the code and let's move to the next video when we're going to actually to, when we're going to populate this um, form and table with the details of the products.